The word katak can be translated as to tell a story, and the solo performance is one of the hallmarks of this style. When a dancer is alone on the stage, there's no hope of being able to conceal any inadequacy. And time and time again, Manish Maharaj has proved himself up to the challenge. That didn't make it any less breathtaking to witness his solo performance in a work entitled Tridara. Kathak is one of the major Indian classical dance styles and is one of the leading exponents of the form in South Africa. Sri Manesh Maharaj regards performance as an act of devotion. He spent seven years studying Kathak at the renowned Bharatiya Vidya Bhavani School in Mumbai, where he was a disciple of the late Sushri Madhurita Sarang and also received extensive training in the art of North Indian classical music. Sri Manish Maharaj needs no introduction. He's known for pushing the boundaries of Kathak dance and bringing the stage to life with his performances. Today, he takes center stage in a solo performance accompanied by live music. The origins of Kathak have been traced back to a period between 500 and 200 years before the Common Era. An ancient artwork has been discovered that depicts performers in poses that resemble those of today's dance. Manishji, that was great. Do you have time for a quick chat? Definitely, Karishma. Manishji, take me through some of the challenges of putting on a solo Kathak performance. As a solo Kathakar, um, one always has um, a lot of concepts and ideas germinating in the mind. And once um, the artist feels it's time for that to reach fruition, he structures the entire production and once that's clear in his mind, he invites a meeting with his accompanying musicians. Why the accompaniment of live music? There's a common thread that links them and they eventually communicate through the language of music. And that is a, quite an amazing experience because that is how magic is created on stage, through that common thread. Tell me a bit more about the choice of instruments you have chosen to use. There are two percussion instruments that we are using in Tridhara. Firstly, the tabla is a primary North Indian instrument and it is used for Kathak accompaniment. But the surprise element uh, is the mridangam, which is a primary South Indian percussion instrument used in Carnatic music from the south of India. And personally, for me as an artist, the timber and the beautiful sound of the mridangam always inspired me. Kathak is seen as a means of storytelling and the narrative is conveyed by means of rhythmic foot movements known as padabhedas, combined with putlavanas or jumps and mudras or hand gestures. Watching you just now, I was so fascinated by your beautiful hand gestures or mudras. Would you mind teaching me a few? Absolutely. Please join me on stage. Welcome. Thank you. We are going to go through a set of codified hand gestures, actually two sets. The first is the single hand gestures, which we refer to as uh, Samyukta Hastas. And we will uh, try a few of those and maybe try and make up a little story. Fantastic. The first hand gesture is referred to as Pataka. It's very simple. It's a flat palm like this. That's the first. The second, we drop the ring finger perpendicular to the palm. That is Tripataka. Then we have the little finger joining that ring finger. It's, this is called Ardha Pataka. Then we link the thumb to these two fingers and spread these two fingers to make Kartari Mukha. Okay. One more. And then we link the thumb, the tips of the thumb and the ring finger and keep the other fingers straight up. This is referred to as Mayura. So using some of these hastas, I will teach you how it's used in dance. Girls love putting makeup. Yes. So the pataka becomes a mirror, which you're going to look into. Okay. And we've done three pataka. That we're going to use to apply the bindi that is on the forehead. Okay. So you take the powder, look into the mirror, and apply the bindi as you would normally do it. And just check if it's in order. It can also be used to apply the kajal. You're going to apply it to the eyes, there. And once that's done, you're going to tell your audience with the kartari mukha, look how beautiful my eyes look. So a little story of adornment. There are 28 single hand gestures, 24 combined hand gestures, and they could portray or depict any possible story, traditional, contemporary, and so many other things. Speaking about makeup, I know that you have to go and get ready for your performance. Definitely, I have to put a face on. 
A solo performance by an artist of this caliber is a rare treat for Durban's dance lovers. And as the audience arrived, Manesh went through the time-honored ritual of transforming himself from an earthbound individual into a devotee of a celestial dancer. There's more to make up than merely emphasizing the features. Manesh Ji, I hope I'm not interrupting you. Not at all, welcome. <laughs> I'm sure you get asked all the time why male dancers have to use just as much makeup as female dancers. This is actually the standard makeup and this gives the artist, it puts the artist in character and gives him confidence. This is to enhance the expressions and we're taking on the roles of kings, of gods, of goddesses, of demons, of animals. What do you hope the audience takes away from tonight? We have eight classical dance forms of India and a lot of South Africans un are unaware of that, you know, and I'm hoping that Tridhara uh, at, re at least create some kind of awareness with regards to Kathak. Manesh Ji, I cannot wait to see you on stage. Oh. Tridhara can be translated as three streams and the musical structure of the piece was made up of three different layers, a term referring to the tempo or speed at which the music is played. Each layer is set to a 16-beat time cycle known as Tintal and this creates the oral backdrop for the dancer to express himself through movement. The performance commenced with a slow tempo introduction titled Nirtarpan in which Manesh explored Kathak as a pure dance form with measured movements exhibiting perfect physical control. In the second segment, the tempo picked up to a medium speed. Titled Kavitavali, this was a presentation of poetry through dance, bringing to light a descriptive element. The third and final segment was titled Bhavarang. Performed to a rapid tempo, it focused on the storytelling aspect of Kathak, with the performer using abhine or expression. That was an absolutely exquisite performance and I love that both dance and music transcend all boundaries and you don't have to understand the art to enjoy the performance.